SEMA 2022 Las Vegas. We are at the Overland Experience over here at the Dometic booth. We've come a long way in the last few years, Kenny. We've made it to the center of the booth. Do me a favor, pan up to the top right there. I haven't slept, okay? I've been up for weeks working hard. These little hands have been working, building this Overlander rig. This is our original 144 Sprinter, four by four, 2020 black. In the last two weeks, we turned it in from a boring van into this Dometic show rig. It is the creme de la creme, a go power electrical system. It has a Dometic RTX 2000, has Dometic refrigerators, three of them total inside this vehicle. And it has a pro heat 30,000 BTU heater right inside with their brand new Overland package. The very first thing you're gonna notice is the Dometic refrigerator. I did fully pack it full of delicious beverages for them. I want one of those. If you look right up top here, we actually put a CCFT right inside the uh, right inside the countertop. I don't think anybody's done that before. We also have the Dometic 12 volt water uh, system set up. Take a look at that. This is a game changer if you're traveling through South America or to some American states that have poor water health. You take your one gallon jug, or is it three gallons? I don't know, it's a few gallons, and then you can fill it up at a purified water station, bring it into your van, use this. It's on 12 volts, so you can power it remotely, and this thing can actually move, and then you just tap on it, and it turns on just like that. Above us, we have the Dometic RTX 2000 that was installed with love by these hands right here. This is a little bit different of electrical system than Nomadic Cooling's used to doing. The whole goal was to do everything exposed so that we could show you how it works when you're here at the expo. So nothing's actually hidden. We have the Go Power Inverter Remote right here. You can turn the uh, inverter on off, the charger on off. You can see how much you're charging right here. Uh, next to it is the Go Power Solar. Uh, uh, we're inside, so not much solar going on right here. Uh, that's right over here. Here's the MPPT Solar Remote and the battery monitor right over here. Now I will tell you the Go Power battery monitor does not have Bluetooth right now. It will in the future. Bluetooth is important because as you're driving, you would like to see how much DC to DC power is coming off of your Belmar secondary alternator that is also installed on this vehicle, which is by the way, another Dometic company, which is why this is a Dometic show van. This thing's using about 45 amps an hour now the funny thing is the Rigid Industries light bar that we have installed on the front also uses a 40 amp fuse. The other thing that I really want to point out is this, this floor system. Now this floor system in here is about a $7,000 upgrade, but it's a DOT approved floor system where you see you have the L-Track built in. There's also a single pane of metal, the exact dimensions of the van. This seat right here, will actually slide back and forth and folds into an extra bed. So this bed here actually sleeps four people or uh, two big people or six real small people, depending on how you do your math. You can also, if you're gonna be driving with more people, you can actually put two people here, three people here, and then actually add captain's chairs to this floor system as well. The floor system is the main reason why I went with Travois to actually do the build. And then Nomadic Cooling actually did all of the electrical installs on everything here after the fact. We have two Dometic 9500 awnings, powered electrical awnings on each side of this rig. This is a Sprinter 144. This is exactly an eight foot awning times two. They are legless, they do have lights on them and you can rig them up to one remote or two remotes as well. On front, we have the rigid industry lights, Baja design here, Warren Winch, CA tuned bumper. We also, most importantly, have the CA tuned off-road hood gas struts. These things are literally a game changer. The Sprinter uh, hood thingamabobber sucks. And this thing works perfectly. I think, did we do a Tech Tuesday of this? We did, we did. So check out that Tech Tuesday because it's real nice. Uh, the other thing we have on here is we have the V-line switching for the Baja design lights up here as well. Right up here, we have the regulator for the secondary alternator. Underneath the uh, CA Tune bumper is a secondary alternator by Belmar. CA Tune's horns. If you have a $200,000 Sprinter van, you will notice 
that your horns suck and are embarrassing. So you, you need to upgrade that. You'll notice we have the side steps on here by scoped as well. The exhaust coming out the side of the van. This exhaust is the Pro Heat 30,000 BTU brand new electrical and heating system by Pro Heat, which is a Canadian company. Dave from Pro Heat actually came down from Canada, helped me install this for the very first time. I can tell you it works phenomenally. It will give you endless hot water. You can heat up to six different systems or spaces inside the vehicle. You can heat the engine, the diff tank, the water tank, uh, your gas tank if you're going into super cold climates. It's tiny under there, especially if you have a 170 or a 170 extended. It fits right up here, right in this little channel. Very easy to service. I think that it needs to be done once a year or something along those lines. We're making a new mounting kit to mount it underneath the vehicle. It's gonna make it uh, a lot easier and a lot faster to install. Now let's just keep moving right around here. This is amazing right here, and I don't think a lot of people are seeing this, but this is a brand new a uh, tire rack from uh, X-Racks out of uh, Colorado, and it will work on any hinges, 180 or uh, 270, whatever the different hinges are. So it's a brand new design uh, built by an engineering firm. So let's see what we have. We have Dometic awnings, uh, solar panels, batteries, alternator, uh, refrigerators. Oh, oh, in the faucet. Don't forget the faucet, Kenny. The 12 volt faucet by Dometic. Probably one of my favorite things out. I don't, I haven't seen a van with two awnings on it before, but I gotta be quite honest. I don't think that I can go back to only having one awning. Two awnings, definitely better. Uh, with the lights on it as well. Oh, and a front runner roof rack. Kenny, I forgot the front runner roof rack. And I'm sitting in front of the, uh, the pretty sweet front runner. <laughs> Can you paint around and get to how sweet this Jeep is? I'm, I'm sitting at it and I forgot that we have a front runner roof rack on there. But super excited. Guys, thank you for coming along to see this uh, super sweet uh, SEMA build that we did in two weeks for Dometic and all of their family of companies. And guys, if you want to go further in comfort, if you have any questions about any of the products that we put on this overlanding rig, do me a favor, go to nomadiccooling.com and go further in comfort with Dometic. Thanks a lot.